Bully Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 3D in the How to Build series where I'm going to be continuing council screens and going over a load bar or showing you how to make a load bar, which can also be used as a health bar or whatever kind of bar you really need. So, we're going to get rid of the R click here because uh, we don't really need it at the moment. And I'm going to put max and current, which are going to be used later on in the tutorial. But first, let us actually set max in our uh, predefined conditions as 100. So, we'll represent that as 100%. For those curious, and we're going to write a string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, we're going to put this at 9, 7, 9, 9, 9, 9 3, 6, 3, and you know all the details for that. Um, it's white text and gray background color. As you can tell, I'll take a favoritism too. Now we're also going to need the outlines of the, or the sides of this loading bar. So let's just put this as one here and one here. And we're going to put nine, eight, and then we're going to put 28. Well, 20, then eight, not 28, to, uh, not to confuse people. All right, so here we're going to grab an interval command for this one. I'm going to put intervals one second, just so it uh, works slowly and you can see everything's going on. And we're going to have some kind of counter. So we're going to say if current, the current value being uh, is less than the maximum value. Then we're going to say current is equal to current value plus 5. Now, here we're going to actually have to draw the um, loading bar, but right, I want to wire it up and show you what the load bar looks like so you know what we're dealing with. So we're going to wire link this and then put a reset here. And let me refresh that chip. There we go. So our load bar is going to have 10 bars in here. That's why I made the top and the bottom of length 12. So we can uh, have a space for the side uh, boundary, as you can call it. So we're going to have 10 little squares here that are going to load as current goes from 0 to 100. And current is just our counter. So let's start by doing wire link. And we're going to say write string. Put that to represent a bar. I'm going to put a 10, 8, and remember 10 is 1 past this 9 up here. And that 7, I'm going to put 8, which is on the same line as this. All right, then we're going to have a 0, and we're going to put 900 for the first bar. So um, before I even get into any of the complicated stuff, I'm just going to draw what the loading bar is going to look like when it's at 100%. So we're going to have 900 here, 810 here, 720 here, 630, and you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm decreasing the red by a value of 1 and increasing the green by a value of 1. So we're going to have 450, 360, uh, 270, 180, and 90, which is the same thing as saying 0 red, 9 green, and all that. So this is what our load bar is going to look like. Actually, I need to update all the X positions. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so this is what the load bar is going to look like when it's fully loaded. All right, so how we make it uh, load over time is we're going to actually have to add a formula. Well, we want the default position. Um, of this to kind of be like zero, or the default color rather, not position, to be zero. So we're going to say um, everything minus itself. And so that, this is uh, the exciting part of the tutorial right here. But it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, what I'm pretty much doing is making sure everything starts at blank because our loading bar is going to be a default here when it's zero percent and as it increases we're going to make each one of these bars light up one by one as current reaches the maximum value. All right so how we do that is with a formula that I came up with a little while ago for a custom battle system I did and we're going to do floor we're going to do current divided by max value times one divided by ten now that 1 represents this being the first bar, and that 10 represents the total number of bars in the loading bar, right? And then we're going to close everything. So 
it's going to be three and oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to need another parentheses right here. So we're going to have four parentheses total right there. So let's copy and paste this. All right. And we are going to change this one to two for the second bar, three for the third bar, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Or for this last one, you can just eliminate this equation because ten divided by ten is equal to one. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to keep it right there as 10. So what's going to happen is it's going to start at all black. Then after current reaches a value of 10, this one's going to light up. Then when it reaches a value of 20, this one lights up. This one lights up. This one lights up. This one. So on. You get the point. So let's see it in action. All right. So as you can see, as current is increasing by a value of 5 every one second, um, the next bar is lighting up. So, yeah, it's a little slow, but... Um, and this is pretty much everything you need to know about how to make a load bar. I mean, you can use this to make a health bar, a stamina bar, if you're going to uh, get fancy with that, try to do a role-playing game or whatever. But anyway, uh, if there's any more questions about console screens, I'll be glad to answer them. And until then, I'll see you next time.